what it is, family. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back again with another exciting video for you guys. Just share a few little tips with you guys. Uh, here in this episode, guys, I'm going to show you guys how I use the Family Dollar six-pack scrub sponges. And this one, uh, these here guys, I use them basically similar to the same way as I showed you guys with the other scrub, heavy duty scrub sponges. I picked these up at Family Dollar Store pretty much for a dollar. And uh, that's what it look like right there. And that's simply how I use it. I use these sponges. I use, like, let's say I'm using Jeskar Power Lock. I spread my cylinders or whatever I want to use up there like that. Like so. And I spread it on the panel, just like that. Or you can spread it out however you want it. Crosshatch pattern, up and down pattern, crosshatch, you know. Just like so. Now, what I do when I spread my waxes and sealants, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I hold this right by the scarring pad. Once again, just like I did the other ones that I shared with you guys. But if you look at these, these are considerably bigger than the other ones that I shared with you guys. Now, these that come from Family Dollar, you only get like six in here, which is good. Six nice, thick sponges like this. That's what it look like from the side view right there. And as I told you guys, I hold it by the scarring pad like this. It's like a handle to me. And I work, you know, just like that, whatever I want to work in on the panel. I also use these for tie shine applicators. It works great. I mean, if they tear up, you know, it don't don't matter. You get six in a pack for a dollar. You just grade two, three packs of them, and you have 18 sponges. If you don't care if they tear up, grab your cup of them out for doing tires, or you want to do interior, door panels, kick panels like them. Spritz you use some less Lexol up here. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. You spritz you some Lexol up there and do your door panels and kick panels or whatever. Because this ain't nothing about leather conditioner. And you, and you just spritz right on the pad, right on the back side of the pad like this. Just like that. And do your door panels and kick panels. All right. So, yeah. People thought, I said, what are you doing holding this? Well, actually, I don't use this side of the pad. I use this side of the pad just to hold it. See, this like a handle to me, basically. So when I want to spread waxes and sealants, I just hold that thing. It's like this. And stuff don't get on my hand. To me, it's just like a handle. And plus, like I said, when they tear up, who cares? Don't You get six on a pack for a dollar, so that you cannot beat. So the last ones that I did for you guys was considerably smaller, as you can see. These are the ones I did came from Rose's store. See the difference? So I do it. I basically do the same thing. I hold it by this as well, like that. But those are considerably smaller, as you can see, in size. So actually, I use both of them for spreading waxes and sealants or doing tie shines. But um, these here. Move the rosa ones out of the way. These here are definitely more durable for tie shines. Just spread your tie shine up there and whatever. And like I said, when they tear up, you really don't care because they're cheap, you know. They're just so cheap. Uh, you can spread, do your trim. You can use the Meguiar's paint protect back there. Use these same applicators for trim um, or whatever, you know. And get a ride. I just want to share this with you guys. That's what it look like in the pack right here. You get six once again. That's how it looks turned sideways. They like different colors. The scarring pad on is purple, pink, orange, green, and blue. Then funny color blue right here that I'm using. And it say you sell some money, you know, just then spend a whole lot of money in the applicators and all that kind of stuff, you know. Then you can take out, if you spray your waxes and your sealant, take something, just come in here and buff it off like this. Microfiber cloth. And spray the waxes and sealant's perfect, as you guys can see here. 
Don't have any trouble. I've been using them for a minute now. Works for me. See, in the detailer world, you got to find products that works for you. See, you can't always follow the Joneses when it comes to detailing cars. I mean, just because somebody else used this type of applicator or that kind of applicator or whatever the case might be, you got to find an applicator and products and gadgets and tricks that works for you. See, I've been wanting to say that guy. You can't follow the Joneses in detailing, dude. You'll be buying a whole lot of crazy stuff that you really don't need. You'll be spending a lot of unnecessary money that you really ain't got to spend. You know, so these things, like I said, I might come back with another video. You can work these with tie dressings. Particularly, I said we we'll use these work great with water-based tie dressings. Because normally, you know, your petroleum base will actually tear your sponges and applicators up quicker because they're more grabby. And when they grab you like that, they, they kind of start to pull the foam apart on them. So if you're using something like, let's say, for example, if you're using the chemical guys, uh, natural shine or something like this with these, you free pretty much be safe. Because typically water-based dressings ain't as hard on your sponges and stuff as the solvent base or silicon base, you know what I'm saying? So... That's why I prefer to use a water base when you're using sponges like this. And I'll come back in another video to share it with you guys. And we'll do it with a solvent base. I'm going to show you how good they hold up through tie shines. But it really doesn't matter because, like I said, you get six in a pack for a dollar. If they just tear up, you just you know, throw it away and get, get you out of the oven and use. You got six more after that, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, I just want to share it with you guys. The family dollar detailing sponges that you can get and save yourself some money out there in a way i hope you guys enjoyed if you're new to my channel don't forget to comment rate and subscribe share my videos with your family and friends and um till next time man you guys take care y'all stay tuned man we're gonna demonstrate these i'm show you guys how i use them on tires and i'm out of here peace